Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle and I hope that you're having a marvelous day today. Today we will be looking at the Gospel of John chapter 7 verses 1 through 2, 10, and 25 through 30. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of the tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, but not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? but we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, But no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. Today, in the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verses 1 through 2, 10 and 25 through 30, we hear of Jesus' courage. These verses detail Jesus going into the heart of Jerusalem to join his disciples at the Feast of the Tabernacle. Throughout John's gospel and in other gospels, the Jewish leaders were plotting and seeking to put Jesus to death. In today's passage, we hear they were trying to kill him. And being a man with many followers, friends, and supporters, he knew of these threats. And yet he came and he preached. As I reflect on today's reading, I'm struck by the idea that Jesus was walking around during his public ministry, doing his thing, preaching and healing and being present and establishing the kingdom of heaven on earth, knowing that there were people who wanted him dead. I can't imagine what that would have been like for him or what effect that may have had on him. They weren't happy just to mock him or ignore him or splinter or dismantle his movement. No, they wanted to kill him. And yet little did they know that in killing Jesus, which we know they ultimately accomplished, they would not end his movement. On the contrary, they simply played their role in his salvific act and ultimately contributed to the establishment of his movement. And that is my reflection today, that despite what things might appear like on the surface, God has a plan. These challenging situations we have in our life, God takes them and creates something much bigger, much better, much more profound, much more impactful. For us, it may be a health challenge, a lost job or job situation, a difficult neighbor a family dilemma, whatever it might be, something that might seem untractable, such as Jesus facing death threats and our own challenges, are all in God's plan. Today, I'm reminded that in the end, God wins, and no matter how many challenges I face, I know what I am called to be, and I refuse to let a situation, or other people take me off my game, even if I know that those situations and those people, like those chasing Jesus, are plotting against me. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember, our word of the day is Christ's Courage. Until next time, be well and be blessed.